Hello everyone. I am Dr. Krishna Sharkar. Here in this session, I will be going to discuss about route stability analysis. This is linear control systems lecture series on linear control systems and lecture number 31. So our topics routes stability analysis. This is very important in control systems. Overview of route stability criterion. So what is the overview? Concept of stability. First point, concept of stability. Second, what is route stability criterion? General transfer function. And next point, basic idea of characteristics polynomial equation. Next point, sufficient conditions for stability analysis and necessary conditions for stability analysis. Then route array and route Harwis criterion. Statement of Routh Harwis criterion. A special case of Routh stability analysis. Stability analysis of the system. So this is our main target or main overview. So first point, concept of stability. What is the concept of stability or asymptotic stability? The idea of the stability is very significant to analysis and design of the systems. A system is said to be stable if its response cannot be made to increase indefinitely by the application of a bounded input excitation. So this is the very important by the bounded application of the bounded input excitation and output also obviously bounded. If the output approach towards infinite value for sufficiently large time, the system is said to be unstable. A linear time invariant systems or LTI systems is stable if, what is the condition for stability? The system is excited by a bounded input and the bounded output. The output is bounded. In the absence of the input, the output tends to towards zero. And the, this is known as asymptotic stability. So for asymptotic stability, what is the condition? The system is excited by a bounded input the output is also bounded. In the absence of input, the output tends towards zero. This is, the, this is known as asymptotic stable. So this is the concept of the stability. Negative feedback closed loop control systems. What is the negative feedback closed loop control system? This is the reference input or cause or excitation. This reference input may be stay, pram, parabolic, impulse, sinusoidal, digital analog, any type of input you can apply. And this is always positive. This is a comparator regulator or summing point. And this is the error signal and the system gain G of S or plant gain. And the C of S equals to controlled output, controlled output or effect of the system, the feedback element H of S and this feedback gain B of S, or primary feedback gain B of S. This feedback may be positive, may be negative. It is in this position. This is negative feedback closed loop control system. So what is the transfer function? In this case, CS by RS, C of S by R of S, C of S by R of S equals to G of S, G of S divided by one plus, one plus Z of S into H of S is called the transfer function where, where one plus Z of S into H of S equals to zero is called characteristics equation. And from this characteristics equation, we can easily determine the stability of the systems because if all the poles and zeros left-hand side of the S-plane, the system will be stable 
otherwise unstable. So this is the negative feedback closed loop systems and the transfer function, uh, RS reference input, GS by one plus Z of H, H, H of S and the output C of S, then C of S by R of S equals to GS by one plus Z of S into HS. This is the transfer function for closed loop negative feedback control systems. And one plus Z of S, H of S is called the trans characteristics equation. Then concept of the characteristics equation for positive feedback, for positive feedback system, the transfer function CS by RS equals to ZS by one minus G of S, H of S. In this case, for positive feedback, this is negative part, but for positive negative feedback, this is positive. So the denominator terms one minus Z of S, H of S is equals to zero is called the characteristics equation. So this is the characteristics equation. This equation of the systems and the, for negative feedback control systems, the transfer function is a CS by RS equals to ZS by one plus Z of S, H of S, where one plus ZS, H S equals to zero is called the characteristics equation. So this is for negative feedback characteristics equation. This is for positive feedback characteristics equation. Then calculate stability of the systems. Concept of the stability, next step concept of the stability. The characteristics equation is one plus ZS HS equals to zero. Already discussed, this is for negative feedback closed loop control systems. The necessary and sufficient condition that a feedback systems be stable is that all the zeros of the characteristics equation have negative real part. That means this is the negative real parts and this is the positive real parts. And this is positive imaginary part or z omega axis and this is minus z omega axis. If all the poles and zeros left hand side of the S plane or in this region, the system will be stable. Otherwise system unstable. So what is the necessary condition and sufficient condition? In terms of poles, we can say that the necessary and sufficient conditions that a feedback system be stable is that all the poles of overall transfer function have negative real parts. So effect of location of poles on stability, what is the effect of location of poles of the stability? The output tends location of poles has a direct effect on stability. The entire S plane is taken into account and it is divided as follows. Effect of location of poles on stability. Number one or number A, left half of the S plane or left half plane. Number B, Z omega axis, number C, right half plane. And for this case, for any case, the system is unstable because if right hand side, if all the poles or if poles and zeros right hand side of the S plane, then system will be unstable. So this case always unstable. This is the unstable condition. But when left up of the S plane, when left up of the S plane, let us consider the following case, a left up plane on real axis and simple, real axis is simple. Again, suppose this is the negative real axis. If poles left hand side, this type or imaginary conjugate and zeros left hand side or imaginary conjugate, conjugate then system will be stable. Then system will be stable. Again, if repeated poles on zeros, then system also stable. If left hand side poles and zeros on the real axis and multiple, multiple, multiple complex conjugate and simple, complex conjugate and simple, the system 
is stable for all the above condition. That means on real axis and simple system stable, on real axis and multiple then system stable, complex conjugates and simple then system also stable. And for G omega axis, on G omega axis and simple, on G omega axis and multiple at origin, at origin and multiple, in this case, if the poles has zeros, poles and zeros, poles and zeros real part and is not repeated, the system is stable. If not repeated, then system stable. Otherwise, if repeated, then system unstable for this condition. That means at origin and multiple, then system are unstable. Suppose RAM function, this is the RAM function. In this position, two poles, because one by S square at origin, two poles. And this is the graph. This direction, time, and this is the output. If time infinity, output also infinity. This is not possible. So this type of signal, unstable signal. So effect of location of poles on stability. Routh Haru's criterion, what is the definition of Routh Haru's criterion? It determines the poles of a characteristics equation, poles of a characteristics equation with respect to the left and right half of the S plane without solving the equation. This is very important, without solving the input, uh, equation. The transfer function of any closed loop system is given by, this is the transfer function, general transfer function, C of S equals to controlled output, R of S equals to reference input equals to B0 S to the power M plus B1 S to the power M minus one plus dot 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 BM minus two S square plus BM minus one, S to the power one plus B M and denominator terms A0 S to the power N plus A1 S to the power N minus one plus A N minus two S square plus A N minus one S plus A N. So this is the general transfer function in numerators, mth order polynomial equation, in denominator, nth order polynomial equation. So what is the, in this, con, in, in this case, if m equals to n or m less than n or m greater than n. This is for critical situation. Numerator power actually always less than denominator or equals to, or equals to. In equation A and B or B0, A, B1, Bm minus two, Bm minus one, Bm, A0, A1, dot, 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 A, N minus two, A, N minus one, A, N are coefficients. That is constant value. The stability of the system can be obtained from the coefficients of its characteristics equation. So, so the stability of the system be obtained from the coefficients of the characteristics equation. So this is the very important A0, A0, A1, A n minus two, A n minus one, A n. These are all gives the stability of the systems obtained from the coefficients stability, its characteristics equation. So this is the characteristic equation denominator. This is equivalent to zero equals to zero is the characteristics equation because this, this is equivalent to one plus Z of S, A of S, Z of S, A of S, denominator equivalent to one plus Z of S equals to, Z of S, A S equals to zero. Then, let us consider a system with characteristics equation, a zero s to the power n plus a one s to the power n minus one plus dot 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 plus a n minus two s square plus a n minus one s plus a n s to the power zero equals to zero. This is the characteristics equation or denominator terms is the characteristics equation where a zero greater than zero. From this characteristics equation, determine the stability of the system by using Routh Haru's criterion. So what is the Routh table or what is the sufficient condition? Necessary condition already discussed and what is the sufficient condition? So necessary condition again, necessary condition for the stability. What is the necessary condition? 
Let us consider a system with characteristics equation. As you, this is already discussed. It can be stated, it can be stated that the necessary condition for stability of the system are as, what is the condition? The characteristics equation or characteristics polynomial must have all coefficients real and positive. That means A0, A1, a n minus two, a n minus one, a n real and positive. That means same sign, positive, 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 or everything negative, same sign. Then necessary condition number one, satisfied. Then another point, none of the coefficients of the polynomial should be zero except the constant a n. So none of the coefficients of the polynomial should be zero. That means a1 not equals to zero, a2 not equals to zero, a n minus two not equals to zero, a n minus one not equals to zero. This is the second condition. And what is the third condition? None of the above, none of the powers of the s between the highest and lowest powers of S should be missing, so no missing power. In this case, S to the power n, S to the power n minus one, S square, S to the power one, S to the power zero. So no missing power, that's why necessary condition satisfied. However, all odd powers of S or all even powers of S may be missing. It is to be emphasized that these are only necessary condition, but not sufficient. All stable system must, must satisfy this condition, but system satisfying all these condition need not be stable. So this is again, all the stable systems must satisfy this condition, must satisfy this condition by system satisfying all the condition need not be stable. Then necessary condition statement. What is the statement? The necessary conditions help us to eliminate polynomials with negative coefficients or missing powers of S by visual inspection only. If the characteristics equation satisfies all the necessary conditions, it is a possible condition or possible candidate for examining further. For stability, a Harwis and E Z Routh have independently established the condition for stability of the system without actual finding out the root. So this is the very important. E Z Routh and A Harwis independently this is established. So. This is the necessary condition. Necessary condition. The criteria is known as Routh Harwis criterion for stability. Then Routh stability criterion. This criterion determines how many roots of the characteristics equation lie on the right half of the S plane. So this statement also very important. This st statement determined how many roots of the characteristics equation lie in the right half of the S plane. This is our target. How many roots of the characteristics equation lie on the right hand side of the S plane? This test also determines all the roots on the Z omega axis so that their multiplicity can be found out. The polynomial coefficients are arranged in an array called Routh array. So what is the Routh array? Let the characteristics equation be given by this. The Routh array is constructed as follows. So next step, construction of Routh array. Construction of Routh array. Each row is identified 
in the descending order of power of S. So this is the descending order of power of S. And next point, the first row contains coefficient of alternate power of S starting with the highest power. So first row contain, consists starting S to the power N and then alternate coefficient, alternate coefficients. That means S to the power N, S to the N minus two, S to the N minus four, dot, 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 dot. And third point, the second row contains coefficients of alternate rows of S starting with the second highest power of S to the power N. So second row starting in this position, S to the power N minus one, S to the power N minus three, S to the power N minus five coefficients. The other rows are constructed in a symmetric way as indicated in the procedure given below. So what is the procedure Routh criteria, Routh's table or Routh array? Arrange all the coefficients of equation in two rows. First row s to the power n, starting from s to the power n or s to the power n row, a0, this is the a0 point, next a2, a4, a6, a7, a8, dot, dot, dot. Similarly, s to the power n minus second, starting, so a1, a3, a5, a7, dot, dot, dot. The arrange all the coefficients of the equation. So this is the A0 coefficients. And in this position, A2 into S to the power N minus two. So this is the second coefficient. Similarly, S to the N minus four coefficient, S to the N minus six coefficients. And this is S to the N minus one, S to the N minus three, S to the N minus five, S to the N minus seven coefficients then determine the route table or fulfill the sufficient condition. So from these two rows, we then subsequent rows to the route array, row n, s to the power n row, a0, a2, a4, a6. Row n minus one already discussed, s to the power n minus one, a1, a3, a5, a7, and this is the given coefficient, but, but s to the n minus two value or s to the power n minus two or row n minus two, that means a, b, c, d, dot, dot, dot. Similarly, row n minus three, s to the power n minus three, e, f, z, h, dot, dot, dot. Row n minus four, s to the power n minus four, i, z, k, l, dot, 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 dot. s to the power row two or s square, this is also dot, 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 dot. M, N, O, P, and row one, S to the power one, Q, R, S, T, and row zero, uh, ultimate final, S to the power zero, U, V, W, X. So calculate A, B, C, D, E, F, dot, 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 up to X. What is the magnitude of A, B, C, D? So first calculate A, first calculate A, what is the magnitude of A? A equals to, please follow this point. A equals to, again, A equals to A1 into A2. A1 into A2, A1 into A2. So write down here A1 into A2 minus A0 into A3, A0 into A3. Again, A0 into A3, A0 into A3. Write down here A0 into A3 divided by starting magnitude, starting value A1. So put here A1 and calculate A, calculate A. Similarly, B equals to what? B equals to A1 into, similarly, A1 into starting always A1, A1 into A4 minus A0 into A5 divided by A1. So right here, right here, A1 into A4 minus A0 into A5 by A1. Similarly, C equals to what? C equals to, a1, A6 minus A0, A7 by A1. That means A1, A6 minus A0, A7 by A1. And D equals to what? D equals to A1 into dot, 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 in this value and A0 into dot, 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 or zero divided by A1. So this is the A1 dot, 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 minus A0 dot, dot, dot by A1. And 
A, B, C, D, complete. Then calculate E, F, G, S. What is the magnitude of E? What is the magnitude of E? Again, E equals to what? E equals to, this is the E. E equals to A into A3. A into A3. A into A3. Again, A into A3. A into A3 minus, write down here, A into A3 minus A1 into B. A1 into B. A1 into B. So write down here A1 into B divided by capital A. So this is the magnitude of E. Similarly, F, what is the F? A into A into A5 minus A1 into C divided by A. So A into A5, starting point, A1 into C divided by A. Similarly, A into A7 divided by A minus A1 into D a1 into D divided by A. So calculate E, F, F, G, A into A7 minus A1 into D divided by A. And finally, H equals to what? A into dot, 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 minus A1 into dot, 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 A1 into dot, 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 divided by A. So E, F, G, A is similarly calculate Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, dot, dot, dot. So what is the magnitude of U? What is the magnitude of U? Suppose U equals to what? U equals to Q into N. Q into N minus M into R. M into R divided by Q. Similarly, R equals to what? V equals to what? V equals to V equals to what? V equals to Q into O. Q into O minus M into S. M into S divided by Q. Divided by Q. So ultimately, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and up to X. So what is the Conclusion, similarly, the coefficients of any particular row can be obtained by considering the previous two rows and forming the products as before. Then if any elements in a row is missing, it is regarded as zero. The route array is constructed until the s to the power zero rows is computed, the Routh Hardwick criterion is stated as follows. So what is the condition for first case? For a system to be stable, for a system to be stable, for a system to be stable, for what condition this system will be stable? It is necessary and sufficient that each entry in the first column of Routh array constructed from the characteristics equation be positive. That means this is the first column. If all the coefficients are zeros, A0 positive, A0, A0 positive, A1 positive, A positive, E positive, I positive, dot, 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 M positive, Q positive, Q positive, then system will be stable. Then system will be stable. If sign changes, then system unstable. So if any entry in the first column is negative, the system is unstable. This is also very important. If any entry, if any entry in the first column is negative, suppose this value negative. This is the negative value. This is the negative value. But A positive, so changes sign positive to negative and negative to again positive I. So two sign changes, the system will be stable, two roots right hand side of the S plane. If any entry in the first column is negative, the, the system is unstable. And the number of roots of the characteristics equation lying in the right half of S plane is given by the number of changes in the sign of enters in the first column of route array. So if sign change, in this condition, if sign change, 
then plus two minus and minus two plus if if but if in this condition minus only one roots plus because plus two minus only one change only one roots right hand side of the s plane right hand side of the s plane observe that the raut harwis criterion tells us whether the system is stable or not it does not give any indication of the exact location of the roots so this is the drawback this is the drawback it does not gives any indication of the exact location of the roots exact position of the root, roots or exact location of the roots that's why this is the drawback special case what is the special case there are two special cases which occurs in the construction of raut array whenever the occurs they occurs it is not possible to complete it, the table in the routine way let us see how this special case can be tackled in complicating the table uh, that means first case what is the first case sometimes the first entry in the particular row may turn out to be zero suppose 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 this is zero this is zero then what is the magnitude of what is the magnitude of i i equals to what i equals to e into b that means e into b minus a into f a into f a into f divided by e so this magnitude zero that's why this is undefined so this is the special case this is the special since the calculation of next row entries involves the division by this zero by this zero the process of constructing the raut array stopped there to overcome this difficulty the following procedure may be adopted so what is the procedure for in this condition for this case suppose this is the first column replace the zero in the row by epsilon suppose this is zero so put here epsilon epsilon tends to zero but not equals to zero and epsilon always positive so calculate then i j k l so this is the very important also replace the zero with with rho by epsilon proceed with the construction of the table consider the entire of the first column of the array by letting epsilon tends to zero for from the positive side so our target again if this value zero so put here epsilon and this epsilon tends to zero but not equals to zero and this is also positive and then calculate next value i j k l m n up to x this is the case number 1 the second case for sometimes a particular row may contain all zeros entries this is also very important suppose this value zero this value zero this value zero this value zero again for i for i calculation e into b e into b minus a into f minus a into f divided by e but e equals to 0 so this is undefined that's why this is case number 2 or similarly for j k l this is case number 2 this happens when the characteristic equation contains roots which are symmetrical located about 
real and imaginary axis, namely point one, one or more pairs of roots on the z omega axis, one or more pairs of real roots with opposite sign, and one or more pairs of complex roots with their mirror image about the g omega axis together following quadrators in the S plane. So this is the second condition. If complete row zero, if complete row zero, then put auxiliary equation. So what is the concept? The concept is the polynomial whose coefficients are the enters in the row above the row or of zeros is called an auxiliary polynomial and the roots of the polynomial gives this symmetrically located roots. Suppose, suppose this is zero, 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 zero. Then auxiliary equation A of S equals to what? A of S equals to upper row A into S to the power, A into S to the power N minus one, N minus two plus, plus B into S to the power N minus four plus dot, 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 dot. Then differentiate DAS by ds and calculate s coefficients and put in this position, put in this position and determine next value. So since a row contains all zeros enters the rows table cannot be constructed further. To overcome this, the rows of zeros is replaced with the coefficients of the differential of the auxiliary equation. This auxiliary equation is always a polynomial with even power of s, since the roots of these polynomials occurs always in pairs. Then, thank you.